Hi, this is Mark from Groupable, and today we're going to go over how we generate labels for doing a mailing, how we can produce some reports, how we can, say, export some members' information to an Excel spreadsheet, and also send emails. Uh, today's really about kind of working with groups of records and how do we output them. So I'm going to go ahead and log in here and get started. And if, you, if you're uh, working in your local group, this is where you land. What we're interested today is over here on the mailing menu, we're going to go to labels and emails. And this gives you a lot of different ways that you can work with your members and basically create an ad hoc list of members to do stuff with. What we're going to start with is I'm just going to take my active members here. I'm actually doing on the Sonic Lodge here, so it'll be my active master masons yours might just say active members here and I'm going to add them to what we call the buffer right down here you'll see this says the buffer contains so I'm going to go ahead and put all those people in the buffer and now you see that my buffer has nine people in it and so I've got nine records in the buffer and I can do things with those records in the buffer on the left hand side I've got some different reports that I can output. I can do like a contact list. Go ahead and generate that. That gives me a PDF of those records. Then I could also say do like a by age report and bring that up. Again produces a PDF of that particular report. I can also produce labels. We support uh, Avery 5160 which is 3 across 10 down. Avery 5161, which is 2 across, 10 down. So I'll go ahead and do the uh, 3 by 10. And we actually give you this so you can pick what label on the sheet of labels you want to start on. So I'll just do the, like the eighth one here. You see it starts at that position on the labels. So you put that, uh, print that out to your printer with the labels, and they'll come out on the labels for you. Also, you can output the members in the buffer to an spreadsheet, an Excel spreadsheet, in one of two ways. We have the Excel, which includes everyone in the spreadsheet. Then we have a mail merge, XLS, which that will only include the member records that have valid U.S. postal addresses, or actually not just the U.S., any postal address that's considered valid. Those will come out on the mail merge one, so you don't have to worry about sending a mail merged item to people who don't have a valid uh, postal address. So I'll go ahead and I'll output that and show you the Excel spreadsheet here. It's got a lot of columns in it, a lot of information in it, but that's my Excel spreadsheet of all my members. I can also from here trigger an email to get sent. So if I select that and click print, I go to here and this is the uh, sender email. You're going to fill in some basic information here. Uh, this is the address that the person, if they hit reply, that they got the email. It's going to go back to this address that you put here. Then the sender's name, what the subject is, and the message. You can put in pretty much anything you want there. Also, you can attach an attachment. So let's say you have a, a flyer for an event or something like that. You can always put that on here as an attachment. You click Submit. That takes you to a screen where you can preview the email. And also, we show you what addresses that we're actually going to attempt delivery to because as far as we know, we have a valid email address. We also show you the people who we can't even attempt delivery to because we don't have a valid email address for them. So I'm going to go ahead and click the send. And it brings you back to your mailing screen. And when you come here, you'll notice that we started with nine people in the buffer, but now there's only three. Because the six people that we had a valid email address for, they've been taken out of the buffer so that I can do whatever I need to do for these last three people that don't have an email address like print a number 10 envelope. So I can print out my envelopes, stick whatever it is in the envelope and send it to these three people. So that's how doing emails, doing reports and doing things and uh, exporting to your Excel spreadsheet works out of the system. If you have any questions, you can always contact us at support.